Alright, the next step in the process is to install the graphics card. And for this particular build, we're going to be installing a Radeon HD 6850 card. I'm going to go ahead and show you the card really quick so you can kind of check it out. So there we have it. There's the, the one side with the fan. There's the back side. Um, you want to pay close attention to this. Um, this card, see how it's kind of double wide? It's actually going to take up two slots on the back of your case. So you'll have to remove two of the panels in order for it to fit. Some graphics cards only have one. It'll only be about that thick. This one has two, so we want to make sure we give ourselves enough space. So I'm going to go ahead and get the case ready for the graphics card. <clears throat> um, if you look down on the motherboard really fast, you'll see that there's three different PCI Express slots. Uh, two of these actually can run in uh, PCI Express 3.0. The other one runs in PCI Express 2.0. Uh, there currently aren't any parts out for you to make use of the 3.0. So if you in install your card in a 3.0 slot, it'll just run at 2.0 speeds. So not a big deal for our purposes. On the back of the case, we're gonna we're gonna go and take our card and kind of line it up so we can figure out which two panels we need to take out. There's about where I would go. It looks like I'm going to need to take out the second and third panel from the top of the case for that card to fit. Um, sometimes there's screws, sometimes there's not in some of these. In this case, we, we don't have any screws attached here, so I'm just going to pull these out. So that's now out of the way. Go back here with our graphics card. And if you look down here on the bottom, this is another thing where it only fits one way. There's a little short pin connection and then there's a long one. And we want to make sure that those match up. Uh, the short one actually is towards the back of the case. You can see here, there's the short one and then we have the long one. So make sure that those line up and they're going to slide right down into place. So there's only one correct way for this to go in. Let me go ahead and get it lined up. So I'm kind of in the grooves. I haven't pressed it down yet, but it is in place. Um, it's lined up with the back. And now I'm just going to press it down until it goes all the way down. You kind of hear it, um, kind of hear it lock in. You'll kind of know that it's all the way down. You'll also notice that it um, is now flush with the back panel of the case. That's another indicator that the card's all the way down. You want to make sure that the card's all the way installed, because if it's not, your motherboard won't detect that it's actually there. You, you also don't want to make sure you don't press too hard, because if you press too hard, you can end up damaging the case, or the graphics card. Now, one thing I do want to show you around on the back. Down here on the bottom, there's this little locking piece. I don't know if you can see it here. It actually moves. So I move that in. I will unlock it. This actually will lock your graphics card into place. I'm going to go ahead and lock it. And now the card's secure there. And then I'm in a place up here on top, I'm going to place two screws in here to secure this portion of the card in place. So I've got two screws here. I'm going to line up the holes. And then just tighten it down.
And that's pretty much it. Now the graphics card is now installed on the motherboard and secured down. And we are ready to move on to the next step of the process.